American football, a colossus of the sporting realm, with a history as intricate as the threads of a grand tapestry. From its humble beginnings on college campuses to the roaring coliseums of the NFL, this game has woven itself into the very fabric of American culture. Our journey begins on a crisp autumn day in 1869, when Rutgers University clashed with Princeton University in the inaugural match of American football. This historic encounter set the stage for a legacy of athletic prowess and competitive spirit that would resonate through the ages. As we step into this hallowed ground, we'll uncover records that stand as a testament to the sheer prowess and tenacity of players who have left in double marks on the field. From the awe-inspiring feats of quarterbacks to a relentless drive of defensive giants, each record tells a story of triumph, of pushing the boundaries of human potential. Alright, let's dive straight into the records you've all been waiting for. Starting with the aerial assault, we've got none other than the gridiron maestro himself, Tom Brady, reigning supreme in the passing department. The man's thrown a staggering 89,214 yards, threading the needle like none other in NFL history. And if that wasn't enough, he's also got the most career passing touchdowns to his name, a jaw-dropping 649 strikes of perfection. Now let's shift our focus to the ground game. When it comes to carving paths through defensive lines, there's one name that echoes through the ages, Emmitt Smith. With an eye-watering 18,355 rushing yards, this legend set a standard that's yet to be surpassed. And when it's about punching into the end zone, Smith's got that covered too, with a record-breaking 164 rushing touchdowns. Taking a glance down the field, there's a man who redefined what it means to be a receiver, Jerry Rice. With an astounding 22,895 receiving yards, he's left defenders in his wake time and time again. And let's not forget the end zone dance. Rice holds the record for most receiving touchdowns with a jaw dropping 197. Now let's talk about kicking up some history. Justin Tucker, a name that resonates with precision, etched his mark into the record books with a jaw dropping 66 yard field goal. Picture this a Baltimore Raven facing off against the Lions, September 26, 2021, and Tucker launches the ball straight through the uprights. When it comes to sacking the quarterback, there's one name that stands tall Bruce Smith. 200 times he brought down the signal caller, a testament to sheer determination and defensive prowess. And for those daring quarterbacks, beware the interceptors, for Paul Krauss picked off passes an astounding 81 times, a defensive feat that remains unparalleled. Last but by no means least, we've got the luminary of touchdowns, coming back to our main man Jerry Rice. His 208 trips to the end zone stands as a testament to his unrivaled skill and endurance on the field. This man, he didn't just play the game, he defined it. These records, they're not just numbers on a stat sheet, they're the echoes of legends, the tales of those who pushed the boundaries and left an indelible mark in the game we hold dear. So as we move forward, remember, these aren't just records, they're the very essence of football history. Now we're delving into some of the most fascinating and often overlooked records in NFL history. These aren't your everyday stats, these are obscure gems that add a unique layer to the tapestry of the game we love. Let's jump right in. First up, we have a legend among receivers. Once again, Jerry Rice holds the record for most consecutive games with a reception, at a staggering 274 games. That's consistency at its finest. Moving on, we've got Marshall Falk, a name that rings through the annals of football history. He's the king of most career two-point conversions, with seven to his name, donning both the LA Rams and the Indianapolis Colts jerseys. Now let's talk about something you don't hear every day. Wesley Walker made history with most career safety touchdowns. He found the end zone an astonishing 71 times, each time starting from his own end zone. Ever wonder what the longest punt return in NFL history is? Look no further than Robert Bailey of the Los Angeles Rams, who sprinted a jaw-dropping 103 yards against the Saints. Lightning on the field, that's for sure. Next up, we've got a record that showcases the prowess of special teams. Roy Reggie Roby, a punter, holds the record for most career block kicks, with an impressive 31 blocks. Time for a stat that highlights a different kind of skill. Let's talk about a true powerhouse of the game, Darren Sproles. While he may not be a household name for casual fans, within the football community, Sproles is revered as an absolute beast on the field. He carries an interesting record, most career fair catches, with a solid 81. Now let's talk clutch. Adam Vinatieri was the definition of ice in his veins with most consecutive successful field goals. He nailed an incredible 44 straight kicks. Special teams play a vital role in the game, and David Tyree and Sam Gash are proof of that. They share the record for most career onside kick recoveries, each with 10 recoveries to their name. Now let's give a nod to durability. Jim Marshall holds the record for most consecutive starts by a defensive player at a remarkable 270 games. Now that's an Ironman right there. 
Alright, now for a defensive stat that turned heads. D'Angelo Hall is the man behind the most career fumble return yards, amassing an impressive 328 yards on fumble returns. Now let's rewind a bit. The longest game in NFL history was a marathon battle between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins back in 1971. It lasted a staggering 82 minutes and 42 seconds, with the Dolphins eventually clinching the victory. It holds the record for both longest game in NFL history and the most overtimes. And let's not forget the extremes in weather. The coldest game in NFL history goes to the legendary Ice Bowl, where the Packers faced off against the Cowboys in a bone-chilling minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit with a wind chill factor of minus 48. And let's not forget about the opposite side. The hottest game in NFL history took place in 2001, when the Atlanta Falcons faced off against the Arizona Cardinals at Sun Devil Stadium. The temperature soared to a scorching 104 degrees Fahrenheit, turning the field into a furnace. Players battled none of their opponents, but also the relentless heat, showcasing a level of determination that's truly commendable. Let's talk about safeties. The Los Angeles Rams hold the record for most safeties by a team in a single game, with an impressive three safeties against the Giants on September 30, 1984, a feat that showcased their defensive prowess in a spectacular fashion. The game ended with a 33-12 win for the Rams. In the annals of NFL history, one record stands tall. The Indianapolis Colts, led by the legendary Peyton Manning, orchestrating a stunning 23-game winning streak from 2008 to 2009. This remarkable feat of consistency and dominance left an indelible mark on the league. When it comes to the grand stage in American football, two powerhouses emerge, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots. They both boast an impressive six Super Bowl victories each. However, the story doesn't end there. The Steelers have ventured the Super Bowl arena eight times, tasting victory in six of those battles, while the Patriots, in their 11 appearances, clinched the coveted title six times, a testament to their enduring legacy of these franchises. Sometimes, gridiron battles turn to scoring spectacles, and one such clash etched itself into NFL history. In a showcase between the Washington Redskins and the New York Giants, a mind-bugging total of 113 points set up the scoreboard in the 12th week of their 1966 season. The Redskins emerged victorious, with the commanding 72-41 triumph, cementing their place in the record books for the highest scoring NFL game in history. In one of the most awe-inspiring displays of offensive prowess in Super Bowl history, the San Francisco 49ers unleashed a torrent of points, racking up an astounding 55 against the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl 24 of the 1989 season. This not only stands as the record for most points scored by a team in a Super Bowl, but also led to a staggering 45-point margin of victory, firmly establishing the 49ers as the dominant force on that historic day. As we wrap up this deep dive into the lesser known records of the NFL, I hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as I have. Now before we get to sign off, I've got some exciting news for you. In my next video, I'll be delving into a topic that's been a labor of love for me, why the working class defend capitalism. It's a thesis that aims to shed light on a crucial aspect of our socioeconomic landscape. But, before we get to that, I want to hear from you. What was your favorite record we explored today? Drop a comment down below, and let's get the conversation going. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and found it as fascinating as I did. If you're hungry for more content like this, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss a beat. Join me again next week as we unravel more intriguing insights. Until then, stay curious, keep those questions coming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, everyone.